There are four main types of medicine cabinets. Plastic cabinets are economical and a common replacement option for recess applications. Steel cabinets offer an upgrade over plastic in both durability and appearance. Wood cabinets are chosen primarily to closely match vanities and other bath furniture. Aluminum cabinets are the ultimate in durability and appearance. They are heavy duty and can be surface mounted or recess mounted. These designer series aluminum cabinets are designed to provide a lifetime of use and are a beautiful focal point for a bathroom. They feature high quality rust proof polished aluminum construction, full extension hinges, adjustable thick temper glass shelves, surface or recess mount installation options, door gasket to minimize moisture and protect contents, mirrored door back, mirrored cabinet back, and a side mirror kit for surface mount installation. We'd like to show you the basics of installing these designer series aluminum cabinets. Let's begin. A surface mounted cabinet requires measuring the wall space and related fixtures. If installing a surface mounted cabinet in an area that didn't previously have one, measure the vanity or sink area as well as the distance between the vanity and lights. The cabinet should be no larger than the overall width of the vanity. Mark the center line of where the cabinet body is desired across the vanity countertop. The mounting bracket is installed at the bottom to support the cabinet and make it easier to hang. Place the mounting bracket in line with your center line and mark the placement of the mounting bracket. The bracket should be located at least one and a half inches from the top of the faucet to prevent interference. Two mounting brackets attach to the top corners of the cabinet body before installing. Hang the cabinet by lifting the cabinet onto the bottom bracket, making sure that the slot on the cabinet is secure. Replacing a recess mount cabinet will require you to know the measurement of the hole in the wall to fit the rough opening dimension. You can upgrade to a larger model by cutting a larger opening and prepping the wall. If you need to cut a hole, it is recommended to consult a professional in this case. Changing from a recess cabinet to a surface mount version will require closing and finishing the hole in the wall. When replacing an existing recess mounted medicine cabinet, measure the hole in the wall where the previous unit was installed. Make sure the wall studs will accommodate the new cabinet's rough opening so that the cabinet body can mount directly onto the studs. Make sure there are no major obstructions, such as framing, electrical, or plumbing, and the cabinet does not interfere with existing lighting. When replacing a recess cabinet, slide the new cabinet body into the existing hole. Make sure the body is level and the body flange covers the hole. Screw into the studs using the included mounting screws. Finish the assembly of the cabinet by installing the hinges on the door and attaching it to the body. Due to its weight, it is recommended to have another person help you install the door. Complete the assembly of the cabinet by installing the trim caps, shelf clips, and shelves. For more information on a full line of medicine cabinets and other bath furnishings, go to www.zenith-products.com.